Hello, I'm Patricia from Twin Flame Body, located in Chicago, Illinois. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame, and I have some things coming up here that will be of interest to you. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about love and divine love. And there's something I'm going to ask you to do. Email me your love's first name to twinflamebody at gmail.com. I'm going to put together a special little um, blessing list on there um, using their names if you want to. So what I want to talk to you about is a special event that I have coming up for Valentine's Day that is intended to enable you to feel some things. Okay. Number one, feeling sexy in your own skin. How many of you actually feel sexy in your own skin? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe once you did, and you don't know how to create that, or you don't know what happened to it. Where did it all go? Why did everything get so heavy? Why has this turned into some sort of endless purging and just um, you know, not seeming to come around? Have you been gaslighted? Have you been ghosted? Are you struggling with what the definition of narcissism really means? And frankly, you just don't care anymore. You just want to get on with your real life, right? Right? Real living, feeling yourself, feeling sexy in your own skin. What is sexy really? Well, it is feeling sensual. It's feeling loved. It's feeling supported and nurtured. Feeling the parts of you that may have felt like they've been, I don't know, sideburnered for a while while you learn all kinds of other irrelevant stuff. Why? Because we are breaking it down. And that's what I call the dump out. You're dumping out all of that old paradigm patterns and stuff that leads to fears and has killed your dream. And you're being told to hang on sometimes but nobody's really telling you what to do while you're doing that, except me. I am telling you what you need to do during this time. And I have a very high level gift. I am a source being. That is what the Blu-rays are. We are Orphine. We are the ones that are connected to helping to be the blueprinters of the brand new template, I, which I personally call the template of romance, because if it's not including romance, you might as well skip it. Because the other template, if you're gonna hang on to that old template, you're just gonna get more of the same. Or you could grab onto the new template and learn how to do some stuff and really begin feeling, feel sexy and loved in your own skin. I want to feel sexy in my own skin. How many of you actually say that to yourself? Or do you sit there and say like, let me see what I can go read about narcissism today. That's not going to help you. It's using far too much mental energy and in certain cycles of energy, what you're going to find is it's going to addle your head. It gets overwhelming because you're picking it up from the collective. How would you like to take a quantum leap away from the collective and all of the beliefs and all of the patterns and all of the fears and all of the control and cut to the chase and do something that is actually much more productive for you. Why? Why you say, but wait, there's more. And when you do this, you actually are focusing on yourself where you yourself are connecting with the parts of you that enable this. It's not me or my union energy. It's your own union energy. It's your own union love. And yes, love is intended to feel like sacred sexual and vice versa. So if you're not feeling that, it's time for a change. It's time for beyond what people will say that, oh, you know, transformation is happening. And you look and you say, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Stop saying, I don't know about that. Because this is the time where the timing is perfect to get started with this. You would not have been able to do this three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. And not only that, if this is new to you, welcome. 
Do not be deterred by some of the stuff that you see out there or the clickbaity titles um, that some people have that just really um, don't have what's next. Okay, they're not bad. They're like one stepping stone, but they're not getting you into that quantum leap. What else? What is killing your dream? Is it that someone you've been focused on and devoting your time and effort and attention and sometimes even your money to um, because maybe you've been told to and they're in a relationship or they started up a new relationship and your dream is being killed? What other things are the dream killers in your life? What are the things that are affecting you from feeling abundant and feeling sexy in your own skin? Okay, because with success comes a glow. And this is why people get drawn to other people. They're like, well, they must know something. Yes, we do. And you can't go by what is on the surface. You have to go by what it is that you feel, okay? If you're sitting at the window looking in on someone else's life and you're wondering like, why did my dream get killed? It's time for you to ramp it up a notch here and raise the bar and start feeling it. Feel sexy in your own skin. And the next thing, attracting, okay? Not busting or forcing. You cannot force your faded meetings. You have to attract it. Attract the divine heart person. Attract the person who is the right heart connection for you. Because if you're getting dragged down, you need to pay attention to that. Is something pulling you back? Is something pulling you down? Does it feel like you have to go down to the basement floor just to like get some kind of acknowledgement or communication? And you're wondering, why am I not being met at this level? Have you gone from having 100% to having like, you know, 2% of a person's time and attention and energy? What is that all about? That is not the twin flame way. That is not the way of love. That is not love. Okay, I'll just say it right here. That is not love and that is not what your heart wants to attract. But there's plenty of people that feel like, why have I attracted that? Why are there books and tomes devoted to people who've been duped or tricked or deceived or somehow they find they wind up with somebody that feels like a con man? He said this or she said that or a con woman because it happens to men too. Hey men, do you want to know the number one thing that females want from you? Okay, what your twin flame really wants? They don't want you to breathe the high priest. They don't want you to be the master of this or that. They want love. It's quite simple. Females want love. Hey, two gay guys, what do you expect from each other? Love. Simple, see? It's simple. Love, respect, attention, admiration, real genuine feelings, okay? Not something that feels like it's forced or out of a playbook, okay? Dating is not a game. Love was never a game, but it's become a game for people. And we're here to bring this all back so that people can feel love and feel sexy in their own skin, men and women, okay? And I have people that I've worked with that are the living embodiment of it. It doesn't matter how you appear. It matters how you feel to that person who is the divine heart connected person for you. So attracting the divine person, your divine, using your divine connections. So I like to skate, say, skip the pain, get to the pleasure. So for Valentine's Day, I know not everyone celebrates Valentine's Day, but look, if you have everyone that's focusing on love and then you have some people that are saying, well, I can't really be with someone. I'm going to just, no, stop it. Don't be bitter. Don't be disillusioned. Try something different. Try something different. Do not hide yourself away. Join. 
because you are not alone and you are part of the elite that is getting all your connections in place so that you're attracting and you're cutting down all of the crap and the fears that you have to deal with. You will not have to trip through person after person after person after person till you throw up your hands and you say, you know, pff, I think this was all bunk. No, this is for real. And I am teaching you how to do this and what to do. Because there's some basic things that just help you get that jump again and get things back that belong to you and that are inherent to you. It's you, but it's a higher you. It's the divine you that wants what's best for you, that is coming for you, that already has come here for you, that is saying to you, you are not lost, you are found. I found you because they're going to find you energetically. You always find each other, okay? Attracting the divine person with your heart energy, with your high heart energy. So I'm doing this especially on Valentine's Day attracting the person okay like let's make this simple attracting the person who can body it and you know cutting out some of the painful parts of it and really accelerating so that you get to the pleasurable part and when we say pleasure people say think of like people who have that mind okay they'll say do you mean sexual pleasure do you mean that? Well, yes, that's a part of it, but that's only part of it. It's also connecting with your higher intelligence, connecting with your higher creativity, getting the things that actually are you're both gifted with, getting the things that are back on track for you, that feel like yeah, life is good. Life is fun. I am enjoying. I have time and I have freedom. And I am not chained to the past. I'm not chained to any of these patterns. My dreams are alive and well and they haven't been killed. My fears have diminished because now I can feel. And the, feel, the icky, worn out, negative outdated feelings start doing this and the love feelings start doing this okay how much of that would you like okay that is the direction that this is going and that is why i am creating things so that you know where this focus is we're bringing a synergism when everyone is focused on love you're not left out you're actually joining, but you're joining from a higher level. They will want what you have. And that's the gist of it. So what else do I want to remind you of? I have a quote here for all of you dimensional lovers. And that is, you were wild once, don't let them tame you. Wild, passionate, wild and free, wild and free like nature, not free love, not the free love of the 60s. You were wild once, don't let them tame you. Hey, has that person you're focused on, have they become domesticated like a domesticated, you know, uh, I don't know. Are they just sort of in that mode where they're just domesticated? Okay, maybe not such a bad thing, but hey, where is the wild passion? You need to hang on to that. So I hope that you join the links are below. It is February 14th. I am doing an online segment and I'm also doing live in Chicago at the North Shore Healing Center. Yes, live in Chicago. And we will have a good evening. We're going to be doing a, um, working a little bit on a dream board. We're going to have words of love and I'm going to help you share an high heart meditation that is a specific meditation for getting you elevated. Why? Why high heart? Right here. The wild part of you, the wildly passionate, fun loving, adventurous, or even like the depths of the ocean, like those still waters run deep, that's still wild. 
You were wild once. Don't let them tame you. You be the one to seek that, okay? And I guarantee you whatever domesticated part of you, it's going to be there. But let's get the rest of the stuff going. Thanks so much. And check the links below. Email me at twinflamebody at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye.